Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be love messages for my dear Scorpios. Scorpios, we're going to check in on the energy of your current situation. So we're going to take a card on the overall energy, how your person might be feeling, how they're looking at you, anything hidden and possible outcome. So let's go ahead and jump into this. And my Scorpios, as I'm doing this, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, I have them listed in LinkedIn order of appearance. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into this Scorpio. Let's see what the overall energy of your current situation is. Overall energy, the Ace of Wands, so a new beginning, a lot of passion, a lot of sexual energy. Your person is feeling like the Knight of Wands, so I am getting a little bit of, of a warning here, Scorpio, um, that this person, this might be sort of like a strictly sexual connection. It could have been like a one night stand, somebody who's not really looking for commitment. How they're seeing you as the Four of Cups, ooh, so they might feel like there isn't any hope for a long term um, relationship with you, Scorpio, because you might have rejected them, or you, or they see you as being quite, sort of indifferent. So they're kind of like me. I, I kind of feel like maybe it's they're gonna. Take Take what they can get but they're not allowing themselves to be emotionally invested what's hidden the seven of swords something here is coming to light it might be their true feelings and we get the five of cups wow scorpio so you know your final outcome energy here is some sort of reconciliation it could also just be healing because if you're dealing with somebody who's in this playboy or playgirl energy um and you might have been a little bit you know hey do i want to be a part of this it might be you who's revealing your feelings and sort of moving on here overall energy the fool there's something new here some of you guys might be dealing with an Aries but let's get a little deeper here so let's see there's a lot of passion this is a new beginning I feel like there's some sort of high hopes here some of you guys you're going to be starting a new cycle like I feel like some of you guys yeah four of pentacles somebody's holding back you know Scorpio the energy I'm getting here is that your person your person is and you know, this is interesting because this kind of came out in the Libra reading that I just did. You may be dealing with somebody who's holding back their true feelings. There's a lot of passion and like deep down, they want a new beginning. They feel like, you know, you guys have been divinely guided to one another, but they're holding back and they're keeping, they're either thinking that you're not ready for commitment or maybe it was something you said or you did, or maybe you rejected them or they're just worried about that. So they, they don't want to allow themselves to get too emotionally invested. But Scorpio, I feel like you are their hopes and their dreams they want to heal this this is Aquarius energy um, some of, for some of you this person is very patient is what I'm getting um, with this Pentacles energy because the star can be something on the horizon but it's quite far off some of them are hoping to have a new beginning um, and if you're not with this person let's say this is like a separation you guys haven't talked for a while or something like that they might be playing the field, but their eyes are on you, Scorpio. They feel like they see you in their future, okay? So a few different scenarios coming through. They have a lot of passion, a lot of love. They're definitely holding back, but they either want to heal this or they see long-term, but they might not be showing that to you or they might not... You know, they might not even be admitting it to themselves because they're feeling like this Knight of Wands energy. For some of them, you guys just had like a sexual encounter or a one night stand or something along those lines. And they're really, they're like, whoa, what was that, right? All right, so let's get more into their feelings here with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, some of you, this person may have just gone through a divorce Wow. Yeah. And we get the Hierophant. Absolutely. This person, I mean, it could be that you guys were in a long-term commitment. Again, I'm getting a few messages here, Scorpio. Some of you were in a long-term commitment with this person, marriage. Okay. And either you guys aren't together right now or they, you know, or they didn't honor that commitment. Okay. For others of you, this person has just gotten out of a long-term commitment or has fears of commitment, but they have a lot of passion for you. Regardless, this person is really holding on tight to their feelings, but also really hopeful that you guys can heal this. I see that you are their wish fulfillment, Scorpio, but you're in this four of cups energy. Like they're seeing you not really open to their advances. Again, if it's a rekindling, if you were married to this person, um, or if it was just sort of a one night stand, whatever the situation might be, you know, this person may have always been in this sort of, um, 
you know, I'm a certified bachelor or bachelorette status because they've been hurt in love in the past. Um, and you know, Scorpio, you guys are very, very intuitive. So she's kind of looking at this, like, mm, is this what I want? Do I want to be with somebody? You might, you know, you might know that it's a third party situation, or maybe this person talked, said something to you about like not wanting to settle down, or you know that from firsthand experience with this person, eight of pentacles. You're not so sure, Scorpio, if you want to put time and effort into this connection. At least that's how they're seeing you, okay? I do feel like they're being patient. Yeah, you might have given them some bad news, Scorpio. You might have told this person, you know what, I don't, you know, I'm not the marrying type. You might have told this person, you know, I, what I'm getting with this fool energy, it might even just be your energy. Um, you know, Scorpio, you might be somebody who really likes to travel. You might be very free spirited and sort of kind of hard to lock down. And this person, no matter what sort of relationship you had with them in the past, I feel like that scared them. And I feel like they, they, it sort of triggered their, their insecurities here that they'd never be able to hold on to you. So they're not really letting themselves get into this sort of committed energy, or maybe they've been burned in the past because the page of wands energy here is like telling me there's a little bit of insecurity here. It may be you Scorpio. You're a little bit nervous to put all your eggs in this basket. Cause maybe it's this person who's like, you know, somebody who's very free spirit very lively, very young at heart. They might look very young. They might get a lot of attention. They're really in this energy of not wanting to settle down. So you're kind of really like, you know, you're not really sure if you can emotionally invest in this situation either, but I do feel like you're patiently waiting to either hear from them. Um, it could be that they're waiting to hear from you as well, but I feel like this person, you know what I'm seeing with the fool with the knight of swords in reverse, it could have been something that you guys said or something that you said or that they said. I do feel like there's a little bit of a misunderstanding because, you know, the energy around this situation is, you know, they're holding on to you. They want this. They have so much passion for you. And I feel like they do see you in their future. Um, even if it's not right now. Okay. So interesting energy. So something hidden is coming to light again, for some of you guys, you know, it could have been a third party situation. I mean, we have two of my marriage cards with the Knight of wands in reverse. So very in and out energy, you know, for you'll already know if this is a third party situation, that's what I'm feeling. Um, but for some of you guys, again, this is like a certified bachelor or bachelorette is what I'm getting. What is it you're finding out? The Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So for some of you guys, there's a bit of an age difference here. Okay, it could be that you're older than this person. Somebody here is in this in this fool energy, whether it's you or it's them. Not to say that you're foolish, but somebody here is definitely a little bit younger than the other one or just, you know, the emotional maturity, you know, is, is somebody's a little bit more mature. Um, what I'm seeing here, interesting for some of you guys, you know, this person with this Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords, for some of you, this person was never really able to move on from you. That's what I'm getting. Um, even if this was like somebody you used to be married to or somebody that you were with a long time ago, or even if it was somebody that you just had a one night stand or a fling with, it's like what I'm there. They were never able to move on from you. That's what I'm getting. That's absolutely what I'm getting. I'm just going to pull one more card here for you guys. I feel like they do everything in their power to hold back how much they want to come rushing towards you for some of you this person like they've they've tried writing to you before yeah Scorpio I think they're going to reveal to you some of you guys, this person is at a distance. You guys may have moved away from each other, or maybe you guys met when you were on vacation or like on a business trip or something like that. It doesn't have to be though. They're going to, they, I feel like they want to come in and communicate to you, Scorpio, that they could never, they never let you go, that they see you as their world. There's nobody that compares to you. That's what I'm getting. I also feel like they're going to tell you that they learned a lot from you, even if it was a very short period of time that you guys were together. Okay. Or they really think about the things that you said or that you guys talked about. 
I feel like they have a lot of admiration and respect for the way that you live your life, Scorpio. Like again, they see you as like, I'm almost seeing here that they've always held you as, you know, at, hold, held you in extreme high regard. Somebody very different, very unique for them. Especially if this is like, if this is somebody who's from your past, even long ago, it's like, it's like they've never been able to get you out of their mind. And I just love this sort of free spirited energy. We have the fool to the world. So this is definitely, this can be moving on Scorpio with the five of cups. It can be healing, but it can also be reconciliation. So the nine of pentacles and the moon. All right, you guys, so what I'm seeing here is Scorpios, for those of you who are single, you're not gonna be very single for very long. It could be a Cancer or Pisces that you're dealing with. Um, what I'm seeing also is that um, somebody here is going to wanna put in the work with you in healing this situation, but there are some fears here, and there is something here that needs to be illuminated that's currently hidden from you. Now, it could be how you're feeling about this, but I do feel like there's a very strong sort of heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming, um, coming to you. I also feel like this person, you know, they, they're going to tell you, but not in a creepy way that they've been mildly obsessed with you all of this time, even if it was a one night stand or if it was, you know, a long-term relationship. And I feel like you've even made them rethink their, this bachelor or bachelorette status. Okay. So we get the nine of cups in reverse. So I do feel like one of you, you know, you may have walked away from this person, Scorpio. They may have walked away from you before you could leave them because I feel like they're a little bit worried. Some of my Scorpios out there, you guys are like backpackers. You guys are travelers. You know, you're very independent. Um, I'm not saying that you're like gypsy lifestyle type people, but you have this like this air of that maybe you don't really need anybody. And I feel like... Um, you know, and, and I feel like that may have scared them. That may have scared them that they weren't going to be able to offer you any sort of stability. Um, and what I'm seeing with the Nine of Cups, some of you guys, this person might sort of, might come back with an apology, like when they're drinking or invite you out for a drink. Um, yeah, but I feel like, you know, I feel like, I feel like their world in a way stood still, Scorpio, for quite a time, like after they met you. Like they just were like, wow. What do I do with that? I'm just getting this beautiful energy of sort of feeling, you know, a little bit flabbergasted, um, you know, and just be careful because with the moon card and the nine of pentacles in reverse, you know, I do feel like this person holds you in very high regard, but almost puts you on a pedestal because for many of you guys, again, they've been, they see you as this star, as this shining star. So they might, you know, especially if it's a Pisces energy, although we have a little bit of everything. We have Taurus, we have Pisces. Um, you know, we have Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, um, and Aquarius again, Aries as well, Aries and Aquarius coming through strong. So just be careful. This person might be very idealistic. Okay. So it's important that you, you know, that you, you pay attention to that. Be very grounded with this person. And I do feel like that you are with that four of cups energy, Scorpio, you are very, you know, you're discerning. Um, you're not going to believe anything, just anything any somebody comes to say to you. All right, so let's see what this person wants to say to you. So for some of you guys, um, you know, this person is somebody from, you know, not from your childhood, but like high school sweetheart or back when you felt, you know, it, it's many years ago. Okay, for some of you, maybe you had children with this person because we do see the fool card. All right. Integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? For some of my Scorpios out there, you knew that this was a third party situation or there was a third party situation involved. Okay. I, I, I kind of get that maybe like you guys met like at a conference, you didn't know that this person was married or you, I don't know, something along those lines. They just haven't been able to let you go, Scorpio, though. It's like, it's like I just see this person like romanticizing what you guys had, which is good, but then also there's a need here for grounding, okay? Self-care, so clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So that's what I'm getting. Really ground yourself because I do feel like this person has really, you know, romanticized and fantasized about you, Scorpio. Even if this is somebody that knows you very well, maybe you were married and had kids. Okay, but just make sure that they don't have you have the situation. They're not looking through every the situation through rose-colored glasses. 
okay and chemistry so the attraction you feel is mutual this to me is a moon card so some of you guys definitely either have pisces or cancer in your chart or you're dealing with a water sign but there's also this sort of magnetic pull between you guys okay but warning don't dismiss the red flags here and that's what i feel like i'm getting a little bit with this moon card um this person might you know might talk to you when they're drinking okay um just to sort of build up some courage and that sort of thing so you want to take everything with a grain of salt that they say, you know, make sure that you guys are both sober when you have this conversation and really pay attention, you know, is this person being realistic? Okay. Or, you know, are they just sort of, you know, are they just building, you know, constructing castles in the sky here? Okay. Cause it's going to be important that you guys are very discerning. Okay. We get engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Yeah. And I kind of feel like this, this person might have sort of built up a scenario in their head, like how they approach you and come in with some sort of grandiose, you know, we see the fool coming in like with this, you know, ta-da, I'm here, I'm back, you know, after either a period of confusion or not talking. And so they might have sort of built up a scenario of how things are going to go. So just be aware of that, Scorpio. Okay. And then we get flirt. So extend your lighthearted energy. So yeah, this person, they're in that energy. Four of wands, hierophant in reverse, knight of wands. This person, this person may be a bit fickle here with the fool, very flirtatious. So that is something I think that's going to really sort of raise a red flag for you. Um, and we get attraction. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I really feel like this is that self care, you know, Scorpio, it's about doing what's best for you. This person may come in with lots of romantic proposals. Again, tell you that you are the apple of their eye that, you know, they've always thought of it, thought about you. They've never been able to let you go. Da, 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 da. Trust your intuition. We do have unrequited love, but we also have chemistry coming through here. Okay. So, you know, some of you guys, you might just say, you know what, this is too much. This is, you know, this isn't, you know, I can't believe you or because of either what you've been through with this person or just because, you know, they're too much in this sort of fantastic, whimsical dream state. Like it's not, it's it, like you're not buying what they're selling. And I'm seeing that with honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you guys might have met while you were on vacation um, and like logistically, you're not sure how it's going to work. Um, honeymoon for me also, this is that moon energy. Like just beware that you have, make sure you have all the facts, make sure that you're grounded because I do feel like this person also needs to do a little bit of grounding um, because they have built up a certain scenario in their head. So you guys are going to do what you will with that information, but I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.